In this, I'm going to show you what happens when you plug in various USB devices into the Apple USB camera kit. I'm going to use the new uh, iPad Pro 10.5, and I'm going to test it with cameras like a 6D, other iPads, some old media reading devices, keyboards of various types, some USB memory storage, microphone, a PlayStation controller, game devices like a PS Vita, and more. All right, the first thing I'm gonna test is this Samson USB microphone. Just plug it in, plug that into the iPad. All right, and we'll create a new one. And we will use the microphone setting and we'll go to voice. Audio device connected. We'll zoom in so you can see that. It says you have plugged in an electric guitar or microphone in order to hear yourself while you play. Tap turn on monitoring if using a microphone. Wearing headphones is recommended to avoid feedback. As I tap on the microphone, the input is going up. So that works. Let's test and see what it sounds like. This is a test. This is a test of the Samson microphone plugged into the iPad Pro. Unplug it, and let's press play. This is a test. This is a test of the Samson microphone plugged into the iPad Pro. That sounds pretty damn good. All right, let's go to the next one. Next is a uh, MIDI USB keyboard. So, once again, GarageBand, piano. So it's just a regular piano. Turn the volume up so you can hear it better. It even does. Um, octave. That works. So now we're going to see what happens when you plug it into a DJI Spark. Okay, so you can import and delete files that are on the drone. Under Albums, there's a last import folder. And uh, it's part of the photos feature. And this is what you get. Looks like a full resolution version of the video I shot on my DJI Spark. Looks great. Looks fantastic on this amazing screen on the iPad Pro. And then full 4K uh, snapshots. Awesome. Let's go and see what's next. I've always been curious to see what happens when you plug an iPad into another iPad. I'm going to use the USB camera kit on this iPad, plug in the lightning cable, unlock iPad to import photos. See if it allow access. I don't have any photos. So if I were to take a photo of this iPad, it shows up over there. So I can import photos from other iOS devices. It's there. Very cool. All right. Next, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna plug this into my Apple AirPods case. Let's see what happens if I plug this in. Cannot use device, AirPod case. The connected device requires too much power Interesting. I guess it won't charge off of a uh, USB camera kit. And next, I'm going to see what happens when you plug in a uh, Canon 6D. Plug it in and turn it on. All right, so we get a bunch of videos that I've taken on my kids. I believe this is the stock functionality of the Apple USB camera kit. When you plug it into a camera or a device like the DJI Spark, you get this import function within photos. 
Now let's see what happens when you plug something like a PlayStation 4 controller into an iPad. Cannot use device. Wireless controller. The connected device requires too much power. Well, let's see what happens if I push this button. Actually, it turned on my PlayStation 4, which is in the other room. So, that, apparently it just wants to charge it. I don't think this is actually going to do much of anything here on the iPad. Um, plug it in one more time. Cannot use device. Okay. So, another thing that does not work with the camera kit. Next, just looking at all the USB devices I have, I found my old GoPro 3 remote, which reminds me, I have a GoPro 3. Anyway, let's find out if this works. I'm not sure what it would do. Got a blinky light turned on. It's charging. I don't know if you can see that. charging. Very cool. Good to know. Next, got a bunch of USB thumb drives. Let's test these out one by one. Cannot use device. USB flash disk. The connect device requires too much power. Let's try this Volkswagen one. Ah, now we have an import function. Okay. Doesn't appear that there's anything on it. But that came up. Let's try this Dodge Dart one. Cannot use device, too much power. Cruiser Titanium. Well, even though it had a light and a boot up, we still have an import tab. So I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, so let's try something else. You might recognize this keyboard. This is the keyboard from my most popular video, the one that has over 100,000 views. I reviewed this keyboard when it first came out and it has paid for itself three times over. So thank you to everyone who has ever watched that video review. Let's see what happens when you plug it into an iPad Pro. Cannot use device. It requires too much power. Interesting. Let's start a new note. Testing. Okay. So the Logitech illuminated keyboard requires too much power. I do have a regular USB keyboard, which I will go get and we'll test that one next. Now I'm going to do the same test, but with a regular standard Dell USB keyboard. This one shouldn't require too much power. Let's see what happens when I hit caps lock. Caps lock button, I have light came on. So uh, let's see. Windows space, which would be like kind of, kind of like command space on a regular keyboard. Seems to work. There's text input. All right, I think we're golden. So you can use a regular key USB keyboard with the USB camera kit. This one might seem a little silly. Uh, this is a very old mouse. I've had this for a very long time. It is the Logitech iFeel. Logitech iFeel mouse. It, it has force feedback functions. This thing came out in the 90s. It turned on. It says you cannot use it. It requires too much power, but it turned on. I can't think of what it would be useful for. I mean, obviously it's not doing anything for input. It turned on. Interesting. Let's see what's next. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. Uh, I don't even know how I'm gonna plug this one in. Plug it in and see what happens. I'm going to have to turn it on. Okay, it says cannot use device. PS Vita Type B connected device requires too much power. Okay, let me see what happens when I turn it on. Okay, so 
Let's set the uh, home screen. Let's see what happens. Connecting. What's going on here, PlayStation? On the iPad, it says it cannot use device. Cannot connect to the device. Let's pretend it's a PC. Ah, it's looking for content manager. Okay, the Vita does not work. Next. Okay, so this is a Sony DVD reader, writer, and it also reads from memory cards, memory sticks, SD cards, compact flash cards, and has video inputs on the side. I'm not sure what's gonna happen when I plug this in. It's not in standalone mode, it's in PC input mode. So this should be expecting to see a computer plugged into it. Let's see what happens when you plug it into an iPad. Well, the drive closed. Now what happens if I plug in an old 512 megabyte SD card into this? There's some pictures of my girls on there. I'm gonna grab all four of those and import them. And there's pictures of my girls. These are really old, look, 2006, 2005. This is my youngest daughter, Elise. That's my oldest daughter, Laura Bell, 2006, wow. Cool. All right, I found my GoPro, Hero 3. So it's turned off. I'm gonna see what happens when I plug it in when it's turned off. Accessory unavailable, attached accessory uses too much power. Okay, so let's turn it on. Plug it in again. Accessory unavailable, uses too much power. That doesn't work by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this up and put it on my YouTube page, and I hope that uh, you would find it at least a little entertaining or useful. Um, my favorite takeaway from this is the USB headset. Um, this is a professional office style USB headset, and uh, you can use this to do all kinds of interesting things. You could do voiceovers, you could do very interesting things. Also, this. I was really hoping my USB hub would allow me to use this and the keyboard at the same time. I think I'm gonna have to order the new USB 3 camera kit. Because this is only the USB 2. So I need the USB 3 one. Anyway, um, Keyboard worked, an iPad worked, um, a Canon camera worked, the USB headset worked, USB microphone worked. Oh, one more thing that I forgot that works that is really interesting to me. Okay, so I've got my iPad plugged into the USB camera kit, which is plugged in to my Bose Companion 5 speakers. Now if I press play, Get music. So kudos to Apple for allowing you to plug in to USB audio like that. Very cool. So that's it. The USB camera kit is um, pretty cool. Uh, I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. I forget exactly how much it was. So that's it. Uh, the USB camera kit was, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks, something like that. And uh, it works pretty well. So uh, if you need to plug a camera into it or a keyboard, maybe a USB MIDI or a standard USB QWERTY keyboard, um, USB 
audio, USB headset, USB microphone, um, or a powered uh, disc reader, a powered card reader, a camera like a Canon, or I'm imagining an icon, your DJI drone, and various other things. If you need to plug anything like that into your iPad, uh, I imagine most of these things also work with the iPhone. I know that the USB audio does. I, I tested that earlier. That was one of the first things I tested was my Bose speakers. It works on my iPhone. Um, this is your device right here. The new one is USB 3. This one, USB 2. I'll read you the model number. It's A1440 for the USB 2. Actually, I just found another USB drive right here just sitting by my, my front door. Tiny little thing. I'm going to plug this in and see what it does. Yeah, that didn't work. So, apparently this tiny little USB drive requires too much power. Whatever. So anyway, there you go. Quick test. Quickish. Took me forever. The video editing will probably make it seem a lot quicker than it actually was. So, um... I'm going to clean up because this place is a mess. A lot of crap. Peace.